Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, so this is a general reading for whoever it may resonate with. It's the good news and the bad news. So I'm going to timestamp them. I'm not going to tag this either. If it comes up in your feed, it's meant for you or not, if it doesn't resonate. So let's give you the good news first. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box for those. A link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. I'm doing private readings again. You can only purchase those via my website, gentvtarot.com, all in the description box below. Right. So here's the good news. Timestamp. The good news for you. What do you need to know? What's the good news? I don't do flying cards. What's the good news for you? That's great. Hold on. That's yes, very good. Okay, bottom of the deck. I know, I know this is supposed to be good news. Bear with. Bear with. Okay, we'll keep that out. It's bottom of the deck. So the overall vibe of the reading. Now this is the good news here. That, okay, that betrayal, that feeling of I can't take anymore, it's, it's done. You're good. We're all all right. Everything's fine, okay? That's the vibe of the reading. You, yes, I know. You've had your heart broken, but it's done now. Anything more that's going to hurt? In this situation, we're done with. Cool, my plant's looking a bit sad in the background there, isn't it? <laughs> I'll water you, okay? I will water it. Sorry. Okay, so this is how you feel. You're looking for this now. You want true love to come in. You want... Look, this is being offered from the universe. This is like true love. <sighs> a new beginning in love where your cup runs over and you're done with that. You are so done with that. This is your feelings now. This is what you want. But this is what's going on here. This is what you don't know. And this is you focusing on that. This is you thinking too much about that. Let's start thinking more about this. This is what you want, so let's start thinking about it. It's right here. You have something to look forward to. Stop thinking about the past. This is the good news. You can let it go. You can stop thinking about the past because awesome stuff's coming your way. What should I do about it is the question. This is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse is... very reliant on someone else for their happiness but you're not gonna be doing that anymore you're you're, you're you've got something to look forward to right you're you're moving on from this now you're not relying on someone else for your happiness are you this is what you need to do not rely on someone else for your happiness you also need to stop getting into relationships that are unhealthy if you see a little tiny wavy red flag in the beginning, be done with it. No, I've got to stop showing that plant in the background. You look so sad. You'll see Gary instead. Yes. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear something fun? I'm getting a new kitten. 
fully going into cat lady. I don't know. What do you call it? Life. Cat lady life. So, let's go back to this. This is what you need to do. Release this. The outcome, the world in reverse. It's not great. And then uh, this is the good news, right? Even though I just said it's not great. What's not great about it is there's still work to be done. It's not just like that for you. Can I give you a, a little top tip secret? I've been to hell and back and something I've learned recently is challenging the universe to what's the best it can show you? What what is the best thing that could happen right now? Because you've seen the worst, right? <laughs> yes. And I have to say, since I've started challenging the universe to this pretty much every day, wow. So let's start thinking positively. I'm going to add some cards to this. The outcome. Not the world in reverse. Just listening. This is coming up still. This is the problem. This is why it's not great, is that you're looking for closure. Clarify the outcome for us. We could find a way around that because that's you're not going to get it, and if you got it, it's not going to make you happy. Also the bottom of the deck. I was like, mm, I don't know, but yeah, the bottom of the deck. Look, yeah. this is the good news. Everything's going to be great, but it's going to take a little bit of time. This is what we're looking for. Nine of Pentacles. This is the energy that you need to start putting out there, not this. Oh, no, but what about... Yeah, no. You're going to have this. But positive energy creates positive energy. That's science. That's not even spiritual stuff. That's science. So when you start putting the positive energy out there and you're not needing someone else to make you happy, that's where you get your closure. Because you're this. Oop. Any sadness that you feel right now, that's temporary. I don't know. I sort of feel like judgment in reverse is it's giving a similar message to me. This can be the good news. You just got to see it that way. Got to let go of this. The good news is that, yeah, you're going to. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Now the bad news. Shall we move on to the bad news? All right, what's the bad news? I just read the timestamp there. What is the bad news? It's not fair. I get it. It's not fair. Mm. Bottom of the deck. So the good news, yeah. Alright? It's coming. That is coming. 
the bad news is that you're obsessing about this overly obsessing about it you were betrayed it's not fair what they did what should you do about it let's put some more what should you do about it got the moon here see it for what it really is let me just run these cards through some incense smoke oh, oh. about it so, yeah, start looking for answers stop obsessing about it stop looking for answers stop this this is one of the things that's really causing you a lot of problems when when somebody totally breaks your heart that person can't fix what was broken because they're the ones who did it so if you're constantly around that person and you're constantly seeing them talking to them they're you know it, that wound is going to keep opening up and i think that this person still very much there what you should do about it is is cut that off gary what you know that look you get from a cat sometimes like just die that's not gonna get you fed mate i think that what you think is gonna happen is by asking for closure and obsessing about it obsessing about it that you're going to get some answers but you're not what you should do about it is set your boundaries and say nah i'm done i'm done with this the bad news is that you're going down the wrong street the good news from that is it's going to get better but you gotta let this go. You gotta stop obsessing about it. Give us some more on that. It's, but it's not fair, I understand. It's not fair. You gotta let that go though. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Detach, distance yourself from always checking up on them and what they're doing. That's on top of this. This is the obsession. Let it go. Stop looking. Then you're going to find your happiness. It's all leading to even the good news. Everything the saying, you're gonna let this go, you're gonna move on, but you gotta you gotta stop obsessing. You gotta be happy within yourself, not getting answers. Okay. I'm gonna take this into extended where I'm gonna do a full reading, full Celtic cross on this one, and uh see what we can do. Thanks for joining me. See you later. <laughs>